What's going on everyone? It's, uh, I'm back here with another video with Sheriff Bo there. We are in the shop. You can see our spray booth, the blast cabinet, and the, our current little oven. Today I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to make a powder coat oven. All said and done, we're looking to spend around $650, $700 at the most. Um, so it's going to be a pretty good size though for just those garage here. I think that one right there it's about a little under three deep, um, about one and a half wide, and about a little under three tall. So we should be gaining quite a bit of space that we can use. You can see we have metal studs um, all along through here. We're actually working on them right now. These are three and five eighths wide by 10 feet long. That's just what works best for our dimensions. You can see here, we're already starting on our back wall. So these right here are five feet long. Those two that he's working on are four feet and I'll show you what he's doing. So if you wanna save yourself the trouble of doing what he's doing, if you don't have a metal brake, don't buy the studs that have a lip. They're a little more structurally sound, um, but you're gonna have to crimp off that edge to uh, fit over these flush all said and done. These are gonna be our vertical bracing. So we're gonna have one strut across the bottom, one across the top, and we want it to be flush with that. And with that lip, it kind of rides out like that. Um, but we wanna be able to rivet it down nice and smooth so we can fit sheet metal right over it. All right, we're going ahead and got our four foot by five foot right now. We are drilling holes for our rivets to go in. We got our first wall riveted up and ready to go. But we're done for the night. It's Got a late start, but we did have to go over a lot of just blueprints and planning. Uh, this is five feet tall by four feet wide. Alrighty, we're finished framing everything up except the door. So we're gonna slap it all together and give a nice little test fit. Well, there she is all framed up other than the door. Uh, we gotta tweak a few little things, but that's a good idea of about how much room we're gonna have. After night three in about four hours. Actually, no, it's only been like, what, two, two and a half? <laughs> yeah. We're finally done. So I got the door framed up here and then we have everything held together with self tappers and it's significantly larger and looks pretty good. Uh, so next step is we're gonna go pick up the sheet metal. We're gonna take some measurements, see how much we need and then we're gonna frame it all out with that. All right, we're gonna got our sheet metal. They're four foot by 10 foot sheets. Took the roof and one sidewall off already cut out a piece for the interior wall we have the second one there um, we're gonna our interior walls are three and a half so we need to shave off about six inches right here that we're just gonna run across uh, but anyways we're gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll slap that on that wall for the interior all right so i forgot to show you guys how we're measuring it but this is our door uh, so it's four feet wide exactly so what we did is put Two in the corners, then we did one foot, two foot, three foot. So there's five total around that way. And then as far as height wise, uh, it's a little over five feet. It's five feet, three, eight, three inches and uh, three and three quarters of an inch. So what we did was uh, went to about half and then did split the difference between the two. We have a stud running in the middle. So you can see that's how we did that. And uh, that's pretty much how we did all the walls. So, so far we have one side of the door, one side of the roof, one side of the back and one side of each uh, interior wall. We're wrapping it up for the night. It's about 30 degrees. I gotta bring all this stuff in. Alright, it's been several days since we last checked in with you, uh, but we finished up the roof and the door, both framed up. Need to work on, this is the back, and then we have the two walls there. Alright, we got our spray booth moved over to this side here. It's a new day. Uh, this is like the first time we're working in the daylight for about a week, but we're uh, putting the oven together over here. And we got a pretty, <laughs> pretty sweet, sweet tri Harley trike rolling up. It was, <laughs> Just obnoxious like any Harley rider. <laughs> just <a> rap. <laughs> but anyway, here's our oven. Uh, you want to go stand yeah. stand next to it? Just a good little size comparison. There you are there. We should be able to get four wheels in it. Uh, we're just going to have to get creative with our cart. Alrighty, I'm going to do a quick demonstration on this. You can see that we got our control box wired up. Uh, we're just doing a test function right now. Have a breaker and everything when that red light is on that means it is sending power to the relays that are powering this heating element you can see it's getting red hot that is the temperature that the thermocouple is reading which is right down there that is the temperature that it's set to so that's 60 degrees 
So that means whenever I hit the thermocouple with the heat gun, just like that, you will see the top temperature start to rise. All right, and then you can see that that light flipped off. Go ahead and look at the relays. None of the red lights are on. And the heating element is already starting to turn down the heat. Yeah. All right, well, we went ahead and made the holes and put the burners in. We just gotta wire them up and uh, we gotta go to run Home Depot and get some insulation. We're gonna try to finish it tonight because tonight marks the 31st day of us working on it. And we wanted to get it done in a month, so here we are. It's the next day. Today's officially March 1st and uh, we are finishing the oven today. We worked until about 1, 1 o'clock, 1 1.30 a.m. Uh, we got the insulation. We're pretty much mostly done. Um, this wall is insulated. The burner is wired up. The roof is insulated. The door is insulated. And then the back right here, I just finished laying the insulation. And you can see I got all the wires uh, running through where they're supposed to go. I just wrapped them with electrical tape um, about five inches or so just to kind of act as a buffer to where it's going to be running through metal. There you can see it hooked up to our burner. And uh, we got one wall left, which is gonna be this one that we're gonna uh, set up from the inside. And then all we gotta do is install the door. Yeah. And right now he is working on hooking up the elements to the controller. That way we should be able to do a little test run in about an hour or so. Got it plugged in, PID is on, set to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Go ahead and pop in here. You can see that we have three burners running. Now all we have left to do. Floor and door. Floor and door. Just at our first test run, you can see that everything went pretty smoothly. Um, it's brand new sheet metal. It's very oily, so it caused a lot of smoke. Uh, we're gonna try to space that out a little bit because it was getting to pretty toasty in the box. Other than that, um, all three burners ran equally. Ran it for about 10 minutes, got it up to 260-ish, and we need to get to 400, so it should take less than 20 minutes to heat up. Alrighty, y'all, it's been a little bit longer. Um, oven is done, you can see it right there. We have done a couple test pieces, including this right here. This is a dirt bike engine stand, um, and the reason we did that is you can probably see him out there. He is working on a video for his channel on rebuilding his 2005 RM125. Uh, so I'll have his channel linked down below if you guys want to check it out. Anyway, oven works great, uh, a lot better than our old one, and I hope it helped any of you guys out there looking to build your own. Once I went back through and rewatched all the footage, I realized there was a lot of holes in it, uh, just because our schedules didn't really align, so we were working on it late nights quite a bit, um, and we were just working to get it done, and I didn't really record a whole lot and didn't think to record some stuff that I should have. That being said, if you guys have any questions about anything, leave them down below. I'll try my best to answer them all. Usually I'm on here uh, checking once or twice a week. Um, so I'll just kind of fire them all off as I can. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, I love every single one of you guys. Thank you guys for 2000. I don't think I've said anything about that, but we're almost at 2200 now, mostly off of one video. We all start somewhere though. I'm uh, very excited and very grateful for all of you that have come along and uh, we're gonna start something new. And I am also gonna be doing more moto vlogs on dirt bikes with that man once he finishes that up. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Uh, like I said, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below. I'll get to them. And until the next video, peace.